very poor. Meghan has put a spell on Duke, according to Prince Harry's ex, who would never do a Netflix series. But before we continue, are you interested in starting or scaling a YouTube channel without having to show your face or becoming a traditional YouTuber to earn $30,000 a month? Click on the link below for more information. Since the Duke used to avoid cameras while he was a member of the royal family, Prince Harry has changed so much that his ex-girlfriend admitted he is no longer identifiable. One of his purported ex-girlfriends alleges Prince Harry has completely changed and that the Duke she knew would never have consented to participate in the contentious Netflix series. The Real Housewives of DC cast member Catherine Amani claims she had a two-month love affair with Harry in 2006, when she was 31 and he was 21. She claims she can no longer recognize the man after seeing the first three episodes of the television series, Harry and Meghan. The Real Housewives of DC star described the young Harry, age 21, as, just really, really, really amusing, calling him a, complete gentleman, and, really down to earth, in an interview with Piers on his new show Piers Morgan Uncensored. What I saw of him at the time was that he was frantically yearning for independence and privacy, but what he's done is absolutely flip the whole thing full circle, and now he's got no privacy and no freedom, said Catherine Amani. She responded, I simply don't know whether I'd actually even recognize him anymore personality-wise because when I watched him, on the show, I just thought, why, when asked what she would say Harry if she ran into him again. Added her, he used to be so down-to-earth and normal, and there is so little of him that I actually recognize. She, Megan, has a spell over him, which is why I don't recognize him. In those days, he would have never in a million years been the type of person to do this show. Prince Harry allegedly met the real Housewives of DC alum in May 2006 at Art Bar in London. At the time, Harry was donning an Australian-style hat. She remarked, that made me laugh, to the sun. She approached him after noticing his attire and reportedly shocked him by asking, what are you doing looking like a t asterisk 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 in that, Harry felt stifled by his royal life and wanted to live a normal life, away from the spotlight, according to Catherine Amani, who previously disclosed this. She recalled Harry telling her he wanted to, lived a regular life, therefore he dreamed of trading places with someone else. Beyond the obvious benefits, she added, I could see there was little upside to his position, and the three bodyguards that shadowed him didn't seem to allow for much privacy. She also commended the Duke and Duchess of Sussex for having the guts to emigrate to the United States, where they are currently living in Montecito, California, with their two children, Lilibet and Archie. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are ready to premiere the second episode of their Netflix docuseries on Thursday when Prince Harry's ex-girlfriend made her comments. Meghan and Harry plan to discuss their departure from the royal family in greater detail and give open-minded interviews about everything from parenting to the media, race to royalty, and how they escaped to freedom. In the third teaser, the Sussexes gave viewers a glimpse of what to expect from the film by asking, I wonder what would have happened to us, had we not gone out when we did. Meghan remarked, voicing worries about their own safety, security was being drew away from us. The entire globe was aware of our location, the success of the first installment is still up in the air, according to Netflix, it received more time spent watching than any other documentary during its first week on the streaming service. According to Netflix, Harry and Meghan first, S3 episodes garnered 81.55 million viewing hours after their release last. Thursday, December 8, the highest view hours of any documentary title in a premiere week. At least a portion of the series was seen by more than 28 million households. The week's top English-language series in both Britain and Australia and the US was Harry and Meghan. It landed in the top 10 of 85 nations' Netflix television lists. Thanks.